We are on chapter 15. All right, for those of you who are, who are just catching up, we have Evan. He has moved to a new town. Okay, believe at, at this moment, they go back to un. They, they thought about feeding it to the little hamster, it, which is totally evil. But anyway, they go to unbury it and it's gone. So they figured it was at Conan's house. So that's where we are now. They're breaking into Conan's house to find the monster blood. For those of you interested, my name is Ruben Shoup. I am the YA horror author of the book Vampire Juice. So let's get started. The dog barked again. Evan cried out and threw her juice. So let's get started. The dog barked again. Evan cried out and threw up his hands as the dog leaped for his throat. The dog wasn't as big as Evan had thought. But it was strong. It licked his face, pressing his wet snout into his cheek. It licked his chin and then his lips. Bathed in orange light, the floorboards creaked under the shoes. Evan stumbled, stumbled over a pile of old newspapers stacked in the narrow hallway. Up the wooden stairs, the banister squeaked under Evan's hand. A Venetian blind rattled against the open window, startling him. Evan's hand. A Venetian blind rattled against the open window, startling him. Evan's hand. A Venetian blind rattled against the open window, startling him. Didn't he? Right on the shelf, she replied, pointing. He put it next to his tennis trophies. Evan hurried over to her and took the blue can from her hand. As he held it up to examine it, the lid popped off. The green monster blood began bubbling over the top of the can. It's growing fast, Evan declared. Annie stooped down, picked up the lid. She handed it to Evan. Put it back on, Henry. Hurry! Evan tried pushing the lid back on. It kept slipping off. Hurry up, Andy urged. We've got to go. The monster blood. It's up over the top, Evan cried. Shove it down, Andy instructed. Evan tried pushing the Greek gunk down into the can, pressing it against against it with the palm of his hand. Then he down into the can, pressing it against against it with the palm of his hand. Then he tried pushing it with three fingers. He gasped as he felt the green goo tighten around his fingers and start to pull them down. It's got me, he st Evan stammered. Andy's mouth dropped open. Huh? It's got my fingers, Evan cried shrilly. It won't let go. As Andy hurried to help him, they both heard the front door slam. Someone's Evan cried shrilly. It won't let go. As Andy hurried to help him, they both heard the front door slam. Someone's home, Evan whispered, struggling to pull his fingers free. We're caught. Oh, no. Chapter 16. So what is going to happen now? Andy froze in the corner of the room, her eyes wide with horror. Evan nearly dropped the can of monster blood. The sticky green substance tightened its grip on his fingers, making loud sucking sounds. But Evan only cared about the sounds coming from downstairs. I'm home, he heard Conan shout. We're home too. It was a woman's voice, probably Conan's mother. They're all home, Evan whispered. We're dead meat. Andy murmured. I'm going upstairs, Conan called to his parents. Evan let out a terrified cry as he heard as he heard Conan's heavy footsteps on the stairs. Andy, what what do we do? He stammered. The window, she replied. They both lunged towards the open window and peered out. A narrow concrete ledge stretched just beneath the window. Without hesitating, Andy raised a leg 
over the windowsill and climbed out onto the ledge. Evan, hurry! She whispered, gesture, gesturing frantically. Evan was still desperately trying to pull his fingers from to him, nearly sending him sailing down the stairs. Shh! She cried. They could hear Conan talking to his parents in the kitchen. He was complaining about the other guys on the basketball team. They're all wimps, Evan heard Conan said. Well, well, that'll make you look even better, Mr. Barber replied. They're all wimps, Evan heard Conan said. Well, well, that'll make you look even better, Mr. Barber replied. Eighteen. There. Cup, tap, tap, tap. Catch his breath. He raised his hand to wipe the sweat off his forehead and saw the blue can still stuck there. Help me, he pleaded. He reached out his hand to Andy. She said, and saw the blue can still stuck there. Help me, he pleaded. He reached out his hand to Andy. She, she was breathing hard, too. Her eyes kept darting back down the street, as if she expected Conan to be chasing after them. Close one, she murmured. She turned to heaven. Her eyes glowed excitedly in the light from the street lamp. Excuse me. That was fun. Evan didn't agree. In his opinion, it was far too scary to be fun. And here he was, still stuck to the can of monster blood. He pushed his hand toward Andy. Pull it off, he told her. I think you need both hands. I can't do it. She grabbed the can in both hands. The green gunk bubbled over the sides, making loud sucking sounds. Andy tugged, then tugged harder. Then she took a deep breath and leaned back and tugged with all her might. The monster blood finally... Evan leaned over the hamster cage, staring at the giant-sized cuddles. As the bell rang, he turned to see the other kids had all... leaned over the hamster cage, staring at the giant-sized cuddles. As the bell rang, he turned to see the other kids had all taken their seats. Evan... I see you're examining your victim, Mr. Murphy said from the front of the room. I, uh, Evan couldn't think of a reply. Victim? Mr. Murphy angrily narrowed his beady black eyes at Evan. You've been overfeeding cuddles, Evan. Look how fat he has become. Almost as fat as you, Evan wanted to say. Evan knew that cuddles' weight problem wasn't his fault, and it had nothing to do with overeating. Cuddles had grown to triple hamster size because of monster blood. When I find Andy, I'll strangle her, Evan muttered. What did you say, Evan? Mr. Murphy demanded. Evan could feel his face turning bright red. He hadn't meant to talk out loud. Ah, uh, nothing, he replied, totally embarrassed. He slunk to his seat, and Andy has, has gone... Too far this time, he pointed, he thought barely. She she promised she'd bury the monster blood. Cracked and working out or something. Conan headed off to the basketball practice, laughing and shaking his hand. He really cracks himself up, Evan thought. An angry cry burst from his throat. He slammed his good hand into a locker. He was so furious. He thought he could feel steam pouring out. His e I have a science project I need to work. I have a science project I need to work. Past shimmered wetly. Past shimmered wetly with more and step in. Sometimes he mopped the cold beads of sweat off his forehead. He still couldn't see cuddles. Where was he? Where? Gray morning light filtered through the windows. The floor creaked and under Evan's sneakers. Evan took another hesitant step. Gray morning light filtered through the windows. The floor creaked and under Evan's sneakers. Evan took another hesitant step. Ugly groan. Evan saw its pungy pink nose twitch. He saw the flash of big white teeth. Another groan. He saw its pungy pink nose twitch. He saw the flash of big white teeth. Another groan. The two friends saw its pungy pink nose twitch. He saw the flash of big white teeth. Another groan. The two front paws twitch. He saw the flash of big white teeth. Another groan. 
The two front paws pushed a glitch. He saw the flash of big white teeth. Another groan. The two front paws pushed against hands, pants, pants, pants. Then I tied the other end. I didn't want Murphy to start blaming me in front in the fr in I didn't want Murphy to start blaming me in front in the fr in the, in front of everyone. So you cut class, Andy asked startled me in front in the fr in the, in front of everyone. So you cut class, Andy asked startled any other hamster in the country. He said he was going to try to get cuddles on TV. Did, did you get Evan stomped over to the edge of the creek. He kicked a rock into the water. Come on, Evan, Andy called. You have to admit it's a little funny. He spun around to face her. It's not, he insisted. Not funny at all. What if cuddles just keeps growing and growing? Then what? <coughs> We could put a saddle on his back and give everyone hamster rides, she giggled. Evan scowled. We could put a saddle on his back and give everyone hamster rides, she giggled. Evan scowled and kicked another rock to the creek. Over a yellow tee. Back on his shoulder. Then began back on his shoulder. Then began running towards school. Hey, wait up, Andy called, running after him. <clears throat> How much monster blood did you give Cuddles anyway? Let, let us find out. Evan reached it a few steps ahead of Andy, hearing excited shouts and cries. He lurched into the room and then stopped leash in the other. Down, Cuddles, get down. Pull the chair up, pull the chair up. And nearly jerking Mr. Murphy's arms out of their sockets. With a loud groan, the teacher toppled heavily to the floor. Kids screamed. Two teachers rushed toward, uh, forward to help the gasping Mr. Murphy to his feet. Evan stared at the hamster, raised the wooden chair to his mouth. The enormous white teeth opened quickly. The pink grabbing one side paddles, will run so hard he'll lose weight. Maybe Cuddles will run so hard he'll lose weight. Maybe he'll shrink back to normal size, she said. Luckily, the platform was on wheels. They rolled the sculpture back to normal size, she said. Luckily, the platform was on wheels. They rolled the sculpture toward the stage door at the side. I just want to distract him, Evan said, tugging hard. I want to get give us time. I just want to distract him, Evan said, tugging hard. I want to get, give us time to think, to make a plan. Wow, this is heavy, Andy cried. The, the sculpture up in its front, the sculpture up in its front paws and raised, the sculpture up in its front paws and raised, the sculpture up in its front paws and raised it to its face. The sculpture up in its front paws and raised it to its face. No, Evan cried. Cuddles, no. It to its face. No, Evan cried. Cuddles, no. The metal clanged as Cuddles bit. No, Evan cried. Cuddles, no. The metal clanged. He was staring across the hall at Andy's locker. Oh, no. He was staring across the hall at Andy's locker. Oh no, Andy cried. He was staring across the hall at Andy's locker. Oh no, Andy cried out. Cry out. It poured over him like cry out. It poured over him like a tall, cresting ocean wave, the ocean wave of monster blood. It poured over him like a tall, cresting ocean wave, the ocean wave of monster blood.